Hey everybody, welcome back to another reasonable price prediction in the series where we try to figure out where your favorite altcoin could be headed. Now today we are looking at Jasmine as requested down in the comments below. And before I start this video, I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to G42X86. Um, you never have to give me money guys, you never have to donate money. So the fact that you did bro, it means a huge amount to me. And um, I'm very grateful, very grateful. So I'm going to try to do my best to make a decent price analysis of Jasmine. And I won't lie, it was a little tough. There's not too much data to pull from. I mean, Jasmine has basically gone down up until this point, this last two, three weeks. But I mean, you could argue and say like when mid-October, most cryptocurrencies started to move up and most cryptocurrencies started to pump. Jasmine was also there moving with them. And this is always a good sign. And we can see that Jasmine put in an initial move of about 100%, which was normal from sort of October to November. And then kind of peaked out with the rest of the crypto space at a 150% move. And this is what we saw from most cryptocurrencies. So this price action was very natural. And now the thing that's caught everyone's eye and put Jasmine on everybody's radar is this last week or so where we made a crazy move of 200 from our week open to our wick up and really there hasn't been much price action that's mirrored this with Jasmine so I had a difficult time trying to compare it but there are some sort of key moves that I want to look at and those are these two back from early 2022 back in March and this one here from 2021 October time and the reason I want to look at them is because they're pumped of about 300%. Now our current one, like I just said, is 200%. So we are quite a bit below. We're a third of what we've seen back here. But this was also, this was basically a bull run. And this was the bear market year. But we still had strong volatile moves to the upsides on a lot of cryptocurrencies. So this was an unusual. And what I want, the first thing that I noticed when I was looking at these moves is the trading volume. So if we take a quick look at what Jasmine did during this week, this first week, excuse me, yeah, here, we had a trading volume of 1.5 billion US dollars, okay? Very big trading move. And naturally, trading volume of this size usually ends up in price going up. When there's lots of trading volume, there is a lot of volatility. And oftentimes we've seen it to the upside. I mean, you get it here as well, where like you have huge trading volumes and like this one was 20 million. These guys here, as we went down 35 million, growing and growing so like you know as time is going on people are getting more scared they're selling their jasmine you know what i mean six the six million here and then a quarter of a million trading volume this week 100 million trading volume the, the week before so you can see basically when everything serious happens with jasmine there's always a lot of big trading volume but usually when it's good it reaches the billions and we can see this first pump had a 1.5 billion trading volume in a week this second move had a 1.3 billion trading volume and if we zoom into what we're currently experiencing we can see that we've had a 3.4 billion trading volume in jasmine so naturally this is a huge spike in trading up volume not just in general but also compared to the highs the, the the really big trading volumes that stood out against jasmine it's already surpassed those with a lesser move to the upside so naturally i took a look at what usually happens after this huge move up and you know, like you'd expect, there's a drop off. So we see that here we had a 1 billion still volume, so a bit of a drop off, but still quite high. And this is when Jasmine had more potential to move to the upside. So see that the, the trading volume stayed in the billions in the week when we sort of did nothing, when there was big up in the air, is Jasmine going to go up? Is Jasmine going to go down? And this second pump that we take a look at, similar moves to the upside first, if we take a look at this second week, we can see the trading volume was under 700 million. And now this is still a lot, but we can see Jasmine's price didn't do much here. It did more than this week, realistically, from open to close, but the range was smaller. And also we never managed to break above this key three cent resistance level. And we, we you know, got rejected down and went into the lows of our bear run. And I'll just quickly point out that the low for Jasmine was about a third of a US cent. So very small numbers and zooming out, we'll quickly get the all time high, which is about $5. So huge potential moves to the upside. And Jasmine has had those big moves starting now. We're now trading at one and a half US dollar cents, which doesn't sound like much, but again, coming from a third of a cent, 
that is quite a spectacular move. Now, zooming in, today is Monday as of recording, and let's take a look at what's happening the day after of this trading volume, this, this week that's caused huge, crazy moves for Jasmine. The trading volume is pretty poor. It's 100 million, 120 million. And now I know that sounds like pretty high numbers, but when we compare them to what we've seen before, it's not amazing. Now, as the week goes on, this could rally up. This trading volume could grow higher. And if it does, you could see another move like this where Jasmine puts in another leg up. And if it does, I'd say our next resistance is probably this three cents level that we initially got rejected at during April of 2022, two years ago, basically. And you never know with how things are lining up. We might retest it exactly two years later. That would be total coincidence. But again, of course, not impossible. Coincidences do often happen and sometimes we mistake them as patterns. This is fine. So again, just to reiterate very quickly, we have strong moves up. In the past, what we've seen is when the trading volume stays high, even when the price does nothing really, Jasmine is more likely to put in a leg up. However, when the trading volume dwindles a bit and maybe doesn't break above 1 billion, Jasmine has been rejected in the past. Now, this market that we're in at the moment is different to what we were in back in 2022. It's much more bullish. And in fact, it's exceptionally more bullish than previous market cycles for the halving year, especially the early halving year. So we could very well see Jasmine put in a new leg up. And again, it's got a lot of uh, these Chinese investors. I think it's a, a blockchain in Tokyo, kind of Japan, it has a lot of interest over there. And that could cause a lot of buying pressure. I've heard it being called the, uh, the Japanese Bitcoin. And if that's so, then it will probably do very well because there will be demand and there will be people using it. However, one thing that scares me a little bit with Jasmine, and to be honest with you, these fears that I have sometimes relating to legitimacies of projects aren't important. And I know that sounds like a huge, huge, huge red flag, but during a bull run, people don't care. As long as it doesn't get rug pulled, which I, I doubt it would, but of course, I have no crystal ball. I have no, no way of knowing for sure. But as long as the project doesn't get rug pulled, oftentimes people will not spend too much time worrying about what could go wrong and instead sort of chase these high gains that they could get with Jasmine. And what worried me about Jasmine a little bit was that I found it very difficult to find exactly what they do. They talk about owning your own data. They talk about Internet of Things. But it, to me, it came across very much as buzzwords designed to make people interested and make it seem like they're doing a lot. And it could be that they are doing a lot. I didn't try too hard, but usually when you're looking up an altcoin or a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, they can pretty much give you an answer straight away what their role is if they are a legitimate project. Now, I know a lot of Jasmine is also in Chinese and stuff, so or Mandarin or, or whatever, excuse me, I'm totally unaware, but maybe that's a factor and there's just not a lot of English articles or websites or you know explanations but just something to maybe be aware of not a super clear answer of what they do if jasmine does decide to pump i think our next resistance will be this three cent level and if it breaks above that our next stop would probably be like down here where we first initially made this strong move up to around the six cent level but that's a lot of ifs of course if we sort of see this play out where we get a bit of a rejection I would assume because of the bullish market that we're in, we'll probably find support at this one cent, 1.1 cent, and most likely not go too far below. But of course, it is very possible that maybe we do go back down below and this 0 0.07 cents becomes our support. I have no real way of knowing. And again, it's a pretty new altcoin. We don't have much data, but in the time period that we're in leading up to the halving, it's not unreasonable to say that altcoins do well leading up to the halving and have done after the halving historically. So why should Jasmine be an exception? If you're assuming that the broad crypto space will also go up after the halving, like it has done every single halving. So overall, a pretty bullish sentiment where I think I could see Jasmine going. Again, if it keeps making moves like this, the sky's the limit. If we take how far Jasmine is from its all time high currently, we can see that it is like a, a crazy staggering 300x away from its all-time high from current price now you can flip that and reverse that and say well jasmine fell from its all-time high down to you know a fraction of a cent basically a drop of minus 99.94 percent which even for the altcoin space is abysmal it's really scary so again it, it depends how you want to look at it 
Are you getting in on the ground floor? Are you getting in at a really cheap price? Or is this a fake out that ultimately kind of trends this way and does nothing? Like again, if I turn off the logarithmic, Jasmine's chart is literally a flat line and it has been for over two years. There's a potential that we see another move like this, a crazy move up that Jasmine first made in the first few weeks of the bull run of like 500% and even higher after that. I mean, it went crazy. It went from $3 then from uh, to $5, very strong price movements, but ultimately quite risky. If it does return to these all time highs, you've made a lot of money and you might argue and say, well, depending on your income, maybe 0.001% of your salary is a risk worth taking on Jasmine if it does a 100x or 200x. I'm not here to tell you whether you're right or wrong. I'm just here to say, again, there is a high risk in buying Jasmine. And th this pump, this move in particular, does look a bit artificial to me. Now, whether that's just because maybe it had a VC in Japan, not a VC, or like a, a, a reselling of tokens, or it got introduced, or a partnership, or whatever it is. It's a strong move. We see them in the altcoin space, but oftentimes they are just strong moves, and there isn't really much follow-up afterwards. Again, I could be wrong. We could see a move like this. I don't know. I really don't know. It's very hard to say, especially with the limited data. Just the trading volume is what stood out to me. If Jasmine continues to stay at this low trading volume relative to what it had the week before, again, we're about 120 million trading volume on day one of this week. If we continue at that pace, we're not going to break above the $1 billion trading volume uh, that Jasmine has historically when it does well. And this was an even bigger move in terms of trading volume. So if you want to look at it percentage wise, Jasmine is actually on track to do pretty poorly because here we had like 66% of the trading volume here resulted in a positive and then below 50% trading volume resulted in a push back down. Jasmine currently is on the track to do well below 50% of its trading volume of the week before. But again, even if it does have a huge trading volume here, there's a very there's still a likelihood that it doesn't move up to the upside. But for me, if, if I was going to trade this coin, I'd be watching the trading volume very carefully. Swapping to Jasmine on the Bitcoin bear. Again, very little data, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, we've been rejected at this key level of 33 Satoshis, or we've at least come up to it. I mean, we didn't close above last week, but that doesn't necessarily mean a rejection. This level is pretty historic for Jasmine as well, as it basically operated as a support during the start of the bear run, and then ultimately broke below and put in all time lows, not only on its Bitcoin pair, but also on its US dollar pair. And again, like zooming in, Jasmine moved from 12 Satoshis to 30. That's currently where we are. And the fact that it came right back up to this key resistance on the Bitcoin pair and broke above our previous resistance, it kind of shows to me more that it wasn't a more natural pump like we see on all coins where they move up to a level on their US dollar pair and they also match to a similar resistance on their Bitcoin pair and their Ethereum pair. Here, it just looks like a load of money was forced into Jasmine and it just sent it up to a random spot basically. And that just happened to coincide with this Bitcoin resistance. That could be the thing that ultimately stopped this rally or the rally last week at least. And now we're here just to trail off or maybe come back to a support. Maybe we'll oscillate from this range. Again, very difficult to say. Realistically, there's just too little data. But one thing that is not unusual either is to see altcoins do extremely well on their Bitcoin pairs after the halving, a couple of months after the halving. So even if Jasmine does sort of find support here, maybe trades around this 30 to 35 Satoshi level, potentially after the halving, you could expect another move. And again, the fact that now it's had a pump and it's suddenly caught everyone's attention, that changes it completely. Because if it's an altcoin that nobody has heard of, like realistically before this pump, it was, and now it's forced into everyone's spotlight, there are going to be more people that are going to want to trade this coin, which will, of course, ultimately result in higher trading volume. And what I come back to is having the higher trading volumes that result in higher prices. So now that there's a bit of talk around Jasmine, more people are looking at it. I know it was mentioned on Coin Bureau um, and other crypto sort of channels. Now that it's been spoken about there and potentially, you know, hundreds of thousands of people have now at least heard the name Jasmine coin, it will most likely translate into a increased trading volume. So over this next week, you could make the argument that more people are going to move in, or you could say that those people have already moved in and that's what caused this sort of blow off top to go to where it did. 
it all boils down to what you think. So that about wraps up this video. I don't think there's anything else for me to really say. There's not really much more I can say. Again, very quickly in terms of where I think Jasmine could go during the bull run, I wouldn't expect it to reach its all time high again. I just wouldn't. And maybe I'm bearish to think that, but I think this was such an inflated high and the fact that we dropped so low from it during the bear run just indicates to me that there isn't enough people interested. However, of course, with this pump, that could change things. And there is a lot of talk about owning your own data and decentralized data and data storage, this deep in thing. If Jasmine shoehorns itself into that category, it could see a lot of inflows. But to me, I, I wouldn't put it much higher than this resistance here of sort of 30 cent. Now, of course, it could go way above. I have no real way of knowing, but if I was going to trade this coin, which I won't, um, I, I, I would expect or I would start taking profits at this point. Because even from there, you're doing a, a 20x, uh, which is pretty strong. You know, a 20x of your, 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 your money isn't bad at all. But who am I to say? It's totally up to you, it's your money. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Consider signing up to Fairdesk with the link in the description. Not only do you get a deposit bonus, but you also get reduced trading fees. Also very good to have a second exchange, just in case you need to sell your funds quickly for whatever reason. And again, Huge thank you for the super thanks. I'm really grateful. It's not something that I expect from this channel, but the fact that I have been given uh, given money uh, is so, I am just extremely grateful, extremely grateful. So thank you so much. Hope you guys are well. Take care and peace.